This is not the video I was planning to make. This was supposed to be a detailed review of the Olympus Stylus Epic Zoom 80 Deluxe Camera, but instead it's going to be a tale of how I was an idiot and broke this camera, and why I wasn't really that upset when it broke. Okay, a little backstory. My oldies or regular viewers know that I've been participating in the Embrace the Grain Photography Podcast monthly challenges, and the challenge for June was shoot with a zoom camera. So I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone and shoot the Zoom 80 Deluxe for the challenge, and then do a review of the camera. So I loaded a roll of HP5 Plus into the Zoom 80 Deluxe and headed to the town of Urbana, Ohio, about an hour west of where I live. I got about two thirds of the way through the roll, and this is the idiot part of the story. I came across an old mill and feed store, so I'm looking up at that, and while I had my head in the clouds, I stuck my foot in a hole. And I wasn't really hurt, but I twisted my ankle just enough to pop that camera out of my pocket and it landed on the ground. The impact was bad enough that it disabled the lens and now I've got a dead camera. So at this point, you might think I'd be super upset that my camera is broken, but I really wasn't. I almost felt a sense of relief wash over me, and here's why. I had about 12 shots left on the roll and I was kind of struggling to find stuff to shoot. Once the camera broke, all my self-imposed pressure went away. I wasn't on high alert anymore, my eyes darting back and forth looking for the perfect composition. I could just relax and enjoy the charm of this town without worrying about capturing it all on film. Now I've got almost 200 videos on my channel and all those pictures didn't take themselves so I'm as guilty as anybody of always having a camera up to my eye. But sometimes it's okay to put the camera down and just live in the moment. It's healthy. This guy at the PGA Championship had the right idea. Sometimes it's better to take it in through the eyes rather than the lens. Okay, the other reason I wasn't too upset over breaking this camera is I picked up another one for 350 at a thrift store a while back. Say what you will about Ohio, we may be flyover country, but we do have good thrift stores. I'm still planning on doing a full review of the Zoom 80 Deluxe, but for now I'd just like to share some of the images I got to shoot before the camera died. As usual, I developed this partial roll with Kodak HC110 Dilution B, and then scanned the images with my Epson V550 using Epson Scan 2 software. Until next time, do some good, have some fun, and watch your step.